excuse me. Uh, no, I'm okay. Thanks. I'm just waiting on some people. Thank sure. you, though. Hello? Mark, where is everybody? What happened to this mandatory meeting? Hi, Valerie. Um, it's only mandatory for you, my darling. What are you talking about? Excuse me. I'm really okay. I didn't even ask for those. What? Ah, that. You see that? That's exactly why this is happening. Because your level of tension. My level of tension? It's been a little unpleasant. What are you talking about? Tension's a killer, Valerie. You need to learn to just relax and kind of loosen up. I cannot up. believe I'm hearing this from you, of all people. I have to loosen up? Yeah. Do you mind if I sit? Uh, sure. Is this why you told me to pick the place? Mm -hmm. See you Monday. Thank you. Um, you look really familiar. I'm uh, from the Herbal Essences. Oh, the Herbal Essences, right. Yeah. Um, sorry. I, I needed this, so thank you. It was med school that led me to modeling, which led me to acting, which will hopefully lead me back to med school. I mean, my credits aren't going anywhere, you know? Uh-huh, yeah. So where were you coming from? Long Island City. Oh, what was in there? I was at City Harvest. I, I try to volunteer for them when I can. Oh, so you also volunteer yeah. for You are a model slash actor. You look like that. <laughs> uh, you're going to be a doctor in a couple of years, and you also volunteer with the poor. Yeah, I guess I am. I, I try to give back when I can. Oh, OK. Uh, what kind of medicine? Pediatrics. Oh. I really want to work with kids in the cancer, cancer ward. ward. Right. How do you know? The Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. You working tomorrow? No, just an audition. You? Oh, that's cool. Uh, what for? Macy's. What about you? Uh, nothing. Just hanging out. Yes, yes, who just got an audition for Macy's tomorrow. You did, good for you. Yeah, I did. And you thought you had it made in the shade. You and your fancy pants agent. But you don't anymore. And you know what? I'm sorry in advance. Because I'm not going to take it easy on you. You, you. It's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. This never happens. Wait, you are working tonight? Yeah, I, uh, I just remembered. All right, see you later, guy who's not going to get the Macy's part. Play me. Once they were allies, but now they're mortal enemies. And only one will reign supreme. Unless they're casting for two guys, in which case, hopefully both will reign supreme. But first, they must go head to head. And this time, it's fing personal. The champ is here! The champ is here! How did you get home? An hour ago. You spent that hour making a trailer rather yes, than- Yes, I did. And you know your yourself was just pointing me to the wall here. So you know. Just play it again. Oh, it. yeah. Oh, there he is. 
just just like you planned. Perfect. Um, Mark, the um, New York State Tourism Board is doing a spot, and um, advertising is will get in touch with you by the end of the week. Needs a call back right away. They want to set something up as early as tomorrow. Oh, your um, your 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 mother's in the hospital. Emmett. She's in the emergency room. Emmett. Swallowed or something. How many times have swallowed. I said, give me the information in chronological order of importance? Do you have any concept of time, Emmett? Do you own a watch? Do you have a calendar app on your little phone or your tablet? Do you? Yes. No. Yes. Yes to what? Yes to everything. I'm I'm I'm. I'm the sole member of the Space-Time Continuum Federation that we discuss time travel and, and the possibility of that, so I'm very much aware of a linear existence, so I understand time. Good! <laughs> Good! Then give me the information when I need it, not before, not after, when I need it, Emmett! God! No, wait, wait, wait! Oh, I swear to God, I didn't know anything beforehand. That is such a lie. I helped pick the guy out. I have no oh, idea why I'm lying. No, I'm Hashtag, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. All right, so tell me about it. What's, what's, what, what's the problem? I hated him. Why? Why? It's weird. He was way too perfect. It was like he was a cyborg. What's wrong with that? Hey, guys, I want him to date perfect. Hey, did you guys need something? Oh, Emmett, come here, come here, come here. Sit. Sit down. Yep. There you go. There you go. All right. So, Val and I have been talking, and we feel that uh, certain people have more trouble uh, dancing, shall we say, in the circle of... Terror? Terror, yes. That is the vicinity of our boss. Um, now, would you agree? Is, uh, is Mark coming? No, 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 no he's yeah, then, then yeah, 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 yeah. Good, excellent. Now, with that in mind, uh, we would like to propose a system by which we might circumvent some of the pitfalls of dealing with a man so... Psychotic. Yes. ...sensitive as uh, Mark is. Um, now, hypothetically, how would you feel about that? Oh, I'd be down. Good, good. Okay. So here we have... Here okay. we go. So in this column, we have things that he hates, things mm. that set him off. Mm -hmm. Lateness, mm. actors, mm. Carla Ann Davis casting, mm. dealing with more than one person in a row without a break, and you. No offense. No, none taken. I mean, I, I get it. Oh, oh, good. And on this column, we have things that he likes, so we can balance those out. Celebrities, money, tropical vacations, the price is right, mm. Steely Dan, for some reason, and sugar. And uh, we will just pick up the slack for anything else he doesn't need to know. Okay. All right. This is great. Uh, Mark, 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 um, you got a call from, um, from, you got a call from your... From my what, from, Emmett? From your... From my what? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, thank God. What? Oh, oh, God. What happened? Oh, I hit my shit oh, on the desk. What? Okay? Oh, God, it hurts so much. Oh, no. Where is Emmett? He's, he's gone. He was here a second he's, ago. Oh, no. Mark, Mark, what's up? Don't touch my computer. Because the office is out of stamps and coffee grounds, and Carla and Davis will be casting Steely Dan in a, com in a commercial about for, no, it's commercial for sugar. What? For sugar. Whoa, Get her on the phone right now. How did we not know about this? How did we not know about this? The IRS is auditing um, me, and you have two appointments before lunch, but, but one of them is with a celebrity. Ooh, that sounds interesting, right? Yeah. Thanks, Emmett. <laughs> Do you know what my agent calls me? I really don't. The non-union legend. <laughs> Is that a fact? Yeah, I, uh, I got my start doing Lee's Toyota, and then I, I moved on to, um... Salino and Barnes, injury attorneys. And then when I got Carmel, uh, do, do you guys know? Sure, Carmel? sure, for wherever you want to go. Carmel is the number to know! That's the one. <laughs> yeah. 
You guys know it. Well, when I booked that, I, uh, I knew my life was really gonna change. I knew I knew you from somewhere. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. You know, I was this close to recasting the Grand Prospect Hall guy, but um, they, they, they still wanted to play themselves. I, I went in for the guy who awkwardly twirls the bride around, but they, um, they just replayed the same clip. That sounds like so much fun. I wish I had more time for local spots, but I'm just a little busy making a film with a little man called Martin Scorsese. And yes! That is how he likes his name to be pronounced. Scorsese. We had lunch last week. He adores Cobb salad. You didn't know that. He also likes playing cards, poker. And let me tell you something, you don't let that man lose. You let him win. Because when he flies off the handle, he's in the stratosphere. He invented Robert De Niro. You idiot. Feel funny today. Pete and Keith. That's us. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. They're not gonna get it. I can just get your autograph. What a pleasure to. Why would you do that? Okay. So one of you is giving the other a birthday gift. The recipient, when he opens the gift and realizes it's a code from Macy's, is thrilled. The giver is then happy to see his gift was such a hit and will just improv around it. Gotcha. Great. So, slate when ready. Someone. After you. Okay, I'll go. Uh, Pete Hamilton. Keith Thomas. I really don't feel funny today. Should I? Yeah, keep it going. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. This coat might be the greatest, not just the greatest gift I've ever received, this coat might be the greatest single event that's ever happened to me, and no, I am not exaggerating. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, I'm, I know how you've always wanted a suede jacket. Yeah. It's great. We're the only family we have now, so we've been through some tough times. Uh-huh. And look, I know I haven't always been the best brother to you. Mm-hmm. I know that I can be difficult. And I wanted to do something nice. You know, this was my way of acknowledging you. This is, it's your birthday. It's the one day that we shouldn't have to think about that accident. Oh, God. I know we said no gifts, but this is just me being self-centered again because that look on your face. It's the only gift I'll ever need. I'm sorry. I'm, I just, I can't. No, don't. I'm sorry, too. No. You have nothing, nothing to apologize for. I know it's not exactly what they wanted, but I promise you, I'm going to fight to see to it that they do. Thank you, Carl. No. Thank you. Put your hand.